Exigent means pressing and demanding. Tell me what is pressing and demanding for you guys in the offseason. Um, I think bringing some of the young, younger kids up uh, to speed. You know, we got a lot of experienced guys coming back this year, so um, finding some holes to fill for those younger guys and developing those kids, I think that's been the biggest pressing need for us this year. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about those those needs, those those younger guys. Eighth grade is coming up to ninth grade. You know, how do you prepare them to fit in the room with what you already have going? Um, I think a lot of that's leadership among the, the, the experienced players, the seniors coming back. I think you know having those kids um, step up and lead those younger guys as they as they transition from eighth, eighth grade to ninth grade. We have a summer program, um, and we bring those eighth graders up and we let them play with us during the summer, and so it helps you know transition them guys and put guys in different positions where we can you know see what they can do in the next season with us. Do you have a rising ninth grader that really just stands out to you? Oh, we got a couple guys that's come up. Uh, we got Bryson, um, Bryson King. And uh, Waylon Turner, uh, and William uh, Rodriguez, both those, all those guys, uh, you know, step up and play some for this for us this year and the next coming couple years. So how long have you been coaching? This is my 12th season. 12th season. Mm -hmm. Awesome coach. What about, what's your love? Where's your passion come from? Uh, my hometown. Um, I'm from Oakdale. Grew up there. I uh, went K through 12, and uh, just love the community, love the people there, um, love baseball. Um, somebody need to step in and run the program and uh, be consistent, be, uh, have some continuity. And I uh, felt like I could bring that, being from the area, live there still, and uh, just love that community. So with that being said, Coach, you, you grew up there. Yep. You, you played ball there. Yep. Uh, you know the community. What's the, how do you find your assistant coach to make sure they fit that bill? So that's been tough over the years. Um, had a lot of consistency over the last few years, uh, matter of fact, uh, Sydney's father, uh, Josh Gregor, has been my assistant for four years now. Um, and I hope to continue that for, for years on. It helps the continuity, understanding the, what we want to do in our program. Um, so um, that, that's tough at Oakdale, finding that assistant coach. But Josh has been great. Um, we've had a couple other assistants been in and out of the program over the years. But um, having consistency there with Josh has been, been really good. Nice. Small program, K-12, yep. small school, small community. Right. Uh, what do you do? to assure those kids that are interested in playing on the collegiate level have that opportunity. So uh, communicating, networking, like events like this, um, making sure that you know, we have a community of coaches that we can reach out to and talk to, uh, promoting our kids to play in travel ball organizations and, and, and around the area. Um, just having that network um, that you can reach out to with the colleges around us, uh, Roan State, um, you know, certain small coaches like JUCO, uh, programs that we've talked to and uh, just having that network of coaches helps a lot. Absolutely. So I see on your schedule that you have um, uh, ETPCA play day. Yep. That's on March the 2nd at Fulton. That was good. Knowing that. What does that do for the program, you know, going into the season? Do you know who you'll be playing? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're playing the University High, I think, starting out that day, which is a, a state tournament program, uh, which is a good challenge for us right out of the, you know, right out of the gate, um, helping us get prepared for our season. Um, playing that stiff competition. We're also playing Auburn Springs and Fulton that day. Um, so just an opportunity for us to get better, uh, get a lot of guys some playing time, and, and see if we, you know, see how we can develop, uh, get ready for the season. Do you have any committed players as of right now? We don't. Um, I do not have any committed players. Uh, just a couple kids, if, you know, coaches have reached out, talking to a couple of our kids, uh, talking to me about you know potential, you know, uh, after high school, moving on, playing at the collegiate level, but nothing so far. Absolutely. Got to your right. Who's this? This is uh, Nehemiah Cooney. Then Mike Cooney, how you doing, sir? Good, how you doing? Senior. Yes, sir. Multi-sport athlete. Mm -hmm. What all sports do you play? I play football, baseball, and basketball. And basketball. Yeah. Absolutely. What's your favorite sport? Football. Football for sure. Yeah, football. Uh, do you plan on playing collegiate ball? Yes. Play football? Mm -hmm. Have you been committed for football yet? Uh, no, but I have like, I have an offer as of right now. Where's it at? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So have you met the coaches, been to the facility, things of that nature? Yeah. So what's the thought process when you're, you know, you're playing sports, you're getting ready, you're, you're a multi-sport player. Uh, what's your thought process when you're choosing that college? Um, just, I usually just choose, like, when I went to Maryville, it just felt like home. It's like a place I'd wanted to be, like a small school. It's like over there. Absolutely. Do you have a major that you already know you want to go into? I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Okay. Well, they, well, I'll tell you what, college is like a tree. And 
every tree has branches, right? Find the branch that's strongest for you and hang on. Yeah. All right. How long have you been playing baseball? About 14 years. 14 years. Do you have any other sports you play besides baseball? Basketball and football. Uh, that's the team. Well, dang <laughs> on. Hector and Oklahoma. You got to leave. Well, that's nice, man. That's awesome, man. Do you have any any plans to play any collegiate ball at all? Yes, sir. For which sport? Baseball. And you do want to continue your collegiate level of baseball. Now, so have you talked to any colleges? Uh, no, sir, but I have got a few of these uh, for camping bots from a bigger school. That's good. You plan to do those, right? Uh, yes, sir. Absolutely. So, Coach, how do you feel about travel baseball? Um, it definitely has its place. Um, I, you know, when it interferes with you know high school, the high school season, um, I don't necessarily agree with that. But um, it definitely helps develop kids in the off season, um, getting that extra you know extra bats, extra you know innings that they can get better and develop themselves. Absolutely. So baseball is a very expensive sport. Yes. What would you tell your community to help you know rally behind you to assure that you guys are bringing in the funds you need so these boys can have the perfect opportunity? So I think just uh, and they've done a great job you know supporting us over the years. We have several fundraisers we do every year. Um, you know, we're having a banquet this Saturday night. Um, you know, Brad Howard, one of our former players, is coming back to speak at it. And uh, it's, a, it's a donation type event where the community comes in, listens, gets to kick off the season with us, and help donate to the program. So that's one of our fundraisers. And we always have a great turnout from the community. And then we also do a couple of donation fundraisers later on. We call around the friends and family of the, of the program that try to donate back and help us raise funds. And so we've done a great job with that, you know, helping us keep our program running. Nice, nice. How important is the weight room, Coach? Very important, very important. Unfortunately, you see we got multi-sport multi -sport athletes all around, and so really we don't get a lot of time in the weight room with those kids. And, but I'm, I'm very thankful that they play multiple sports and get to you know, be a, you know, basketball and football players for the community and for our program and our school. Um, but we do have some kids that go you know, just one sport and play baseball only, and we try to get those guys in the weight room and, and increase their strength and stamina and, and agility during the off season. Every coach has that one team that can't wait to get a stab back at them. Who is it for you, Coach? Um, we've, we've been, in our district, we've been challenging Green back better every year. We've been battling back and forth the last two years. We've, been, we've played them 14 times, um, and um, it seems like it's a, a rivalry that's going to continue. Um, these kids, you know, they're, they're the same age as a lot of the players on Greenback's team as far as seniors, and uh, we've had a good challenge over the last three years with them. So we'll hope to continue that this year and hopefully get, get that championship at the end of the season. So. Absolutely. That's the ultimate goal, right? Yeah.